And here we go, we've got cones and we're gonna have to try and merge. So this is going to be interesting indeed. So what's it gonna follow here? What's it gonna do? It's asking me to confirm a lane change, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. But the car won't do it because of the Ford Focus. And as you can see, the car was continually going there until the end. But it was because of that Ford Focus, because he like came out really quick and then drove really fast up behind me, it, the car thinks he's trying to cut me off. I've not actually done this bit either of motorway, so I'm not 100% sure where it goes, but I'm intrigued to find out what it does. On the map, it looks pretty crazy anyway. So we need to take this left, which it's done successfully, and now it's speeding us up. It's now swerving to the right and taking this, whoa, okay taking this lane, which is fine. It just did it a little bit extreme. And now interestingly, it's turned off navigate on autopilot, even though this is still a motorway. So this is still a motorway, but navigate on autopilot doesn't want to work, which is strange. So I'm not sure really how this is gonna work now. Jesus Christ. Look at that. This comes straight onto this road like that. The car there was actually stopping me going over that road. And you can see that this lorry, I've had to stop for this lorry to come over. And the lorry wants to come over as well. That is a horrible little bit of road. And navigate an autopilot isn't on for this bit. And I can kind of see why now. It wasn't a great bit of road. And I think it would have had a lot of troubles. But I would have expected navigate an autopilot because this is obviously a controlled road to work on all of this. But it hasn't. And it's still not on now. So... I don't know, for example, if I went for an overtake. Oh no, I can go for an overtake on this road. Okay, so you, you can do an overtake, you just can't do all the other bits. Autopilot navigation complete. Press accelerator to resume. What? That's, that's new to me. That is brand new to me. I've never seen the car do that before. Okay, I'm going to come across now to this left lane. So apparently I'm not really on the motorway right now. This isn't quite the motorway or something. Looks and feels like a motorway. Okay, we're coming up to a roundabout and it's not reducing its speed for the roundabout at all. Yeah, it needs to reduce its speed a lot earlier than this, but now it's reducing its speed and coming down to a stop. I'm gonna bring it down to 60. Does it want to go in that left lane? I'm pretty sure we do want to go into that left lane. So I'm going to indicate because I don't think we're going down to the southwest. So it did that successfully, but again, autopilot, now navigate on autopilot's on. It needs to be on back there because it needs to be able to do that bit on its own. Uh, because as you saw, it, it really wasn't bothered by doing that bit on its own. And again, I need to be in the left lane here, I think. So I'm going to take the left lane. because we want to go South Wales Cardiff. Oh no, actually it's telling me to be in the right lane. Oh, okay, sorry, that was correct. I was meant to be in that lane. Let's see what the Tesla does. No, it's gonna follow us on this route. Oh yeah, oh, I see where it was trying to take me now. And let's just see what it does. So we've completely confused Navigate on Autopilot. Here we go, we're gonna see how it does coming up to it. Now, I would hope it would start slowing down about now because we're 300 yards away. You can see that it knows that Navigate on Autopilot is ending, but it's still going fast. Now it's slowing us down a little bit and Navigate on Autopilot's actually fully turned off as we get up to this uh, roundabout here. Now there's no one coming, so I'm just gonna see what the car wants to do. It's starting to tackle it. It's actually doing this all on its own right now, guys. This is all the car and a lorry's come across but it's not too fussed by it. And you can see that the car is still doing this. No way, no way guys. Okay, I had to pull it off there. That was really, really impressive though. Like, wow, that was really, really impressive. It did so much of that roundabout until the last second. And I think as other cars joined, I decided to take over. But you can see now again, we're coming onto a motorway. I'm gonna do exactly what the car tells me to do. It's telling me to confirm lane change. Confirmed it. And oh, it's that swing out. It's the way it swings. It's not natural at all. And if I was a car, if I was that Mazda, I would have thought the car was coming over, if I'm being totally honest. So it needs to sort that out. But guys, that roundabout, 
it did it so well. Like, Tesla, that's that's getting good. That is getting good. Just under one and a half miles until the exit now. And it's already telling me, actually, to get over to that left lane. So let's bring the speed to the speed limit of 70 and see when it's going to ask us to move over. Now, we want to get into the first lane. And the first lane only goes left. So as soon as we can, we're in front of the bus now. So I'm going to do the lane change. It's saying that it won't do it because of the bus. And now it's starting to accelerate and complete the lane change. The lane changes just need to be a little bit more natural. It, it needs to like fluidly go and overtake. Now I need to get into this left lane, but I'm gonna wait and see if I can overtake all of these cars and get in after this lorry at the end here, which I think I will be able to. We've got half a mile, so yeah, it's gonna be all right. And as we get up to here, it should ask us to get over now to that left lane. Yeah, it's asking us to get over to the left lane and it's doing the indication. The lorry flashed us, which was nice, and it completed it successfully. Now, it is slowing us down for some reason to 55 miles an hour, and I'm not 100% sure why. Can you guys hear the wind off of that X5? <laughs> that X5 had like wind coming off of it. It was going so fast and it had bikes on it. Anyway, um, so you can see it says preconditioning ready for supercharging because we're going to a supercharger now. But this is going to be tough. It needs to come left here, then it needs to take right and take the right-hand bridge. Is it going to be able to do that? It's trying to do it at 55 miles an hour, which I think is because of the lorry in front of us. Yeah, you can see it's taken this lane correctly, so that's good. And now it's starting to speed us up to 65 miles an hour. And it's taking the corner, and it needs to take this right-hand corner here, you see. So it slowed us to 60. It wants to take it at 60 miles an hour. Is it going to take it at 60? Down to 50. But quite good. Now, this is the, the bit where it merges back onto the motorway, don't forget. So we are going to have to witness a merge here. And again, it should be able to do this. It should not have a problem merging onto this motorway, but it might do. Doesn't look like there's anyone there, so I'm gonna let the car do it. The car's merged across. Again, I'm not 100% sure if that would have done it, you know, with no problem, but I'm gonna indicate right here that Mini's coming across as well. And that did that lane change actually really quite well, so that was good. Now, as you can see, it's just following this lane. And Jesus, what is going on ahead of us? Uh, it's not changing lanes. There we go. Now it's changing lanes way too abruptly for my liking. And it's still indicating right. What is that? Why does it still indicate right? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and we're going to be going left over into this lane. So is it going to ask it straight away? No, it's not asking it straight away. So, okay, now it's asking. So confirm the lane change. Yeah, I think it was because I was holding down the indicator stalk. That's why it was staying on sometimes. Anyway, this is the correct lane and hopefully it will stick us to the left. We Well, we actually can take either of these two lanes. So it doesn't wholly matter which one it takes, but it's indicating left now and it's taken the left lane. Did you see that? It actually indicated left and did that all itself. And we're coming up now into that same little area of traffic that we had before. And navigate on autopilot says it's going to be ending in a few hundred feet. But of course, I'm going to try and let autopilot do as much of this as it wants to. So there's no one around us. So this works out quite well for us. It's coming to a complete stop, though. This isn't me. OK, that's not me. This is it doing this. And it's figured out that it wants to go down this lane. So we did want to go left there, but you can get to it this way anyway. But that was quite interesting. So it slowed down almost to a complete stop. And then it did the corner and it actually kept it in the same lane. Again, pretty impressive. It's not really meant to do that. Um, and I do want to make sure you guys obviously know not to do that and think it's going to do all these things. But it does do it and it's there in shadow mode. It is doing these extra bits. It's just not doing it to quite how good we'd like it to before it gets obviously fully rolled out. So here, you know, it should be able to go into the, that lane, for example, but it won't do it here. Whereas before it would go into another lane when it was off navigate on autopilot. I think they need to make everything just a little bit more simple and kind of all of it to work together or not for it to work together. 
So here it would just go straight across the roundabout following the car in front. But obviously I don't want it to do that, so I've taken it off and I'm doing it myself. The electric motors sound great though. Like they really do sound great. Okay, there's no one behind us. This is an insanely tight corner. Is it gonna do it? Yeah, it's doing it. Look at this. Okay, it's cutting across the corner. It's over both corners. So at 18 miles an hour, it went kind of across both corners. I need to get in the left lane, but you can see that it refuses to do so. So I'm gonna have to go over it myself. Put autopilot back on. And then we're actually going down here to the right. So what do you guys think of Navigate on autopilot on hardware three? rather than hardware 2. Was it any better? Was there any difference? To be honest, I don't think there was. I don't really think there was a big difference compared to my Model X on hardware 2, but it was still pretty impressive and I still like what it can do. I just wish it could do everything else as well, if that obviously makes sense. Only two superchargers here and one of them is for me. Luckily, they're both Model 3 um, priority ones though, which is quite nice. I'm gonna juice up, I'm gonna charge up, and I'm gonna get ready for my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and if you really wanna see more daily content, which is what I'm putting loads of time and effort into, uh, consider becoming a patron. Every little helps, it really does, and I'd love this to be obviously my full-time job. Uh, for the next couple of months or so. So if you want to become a patron and help support me, the links are down below in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Dreamcase, if you want to get a bed for your car. It's awesome. Make sure you check it out. When I do my road trips, I'm going to be using that thing like nothing else. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So the lane here opens up and splits into two lanes. Is it going to keep left and follow this left lane? Yeah, it's following the left lane. It wasn't interested by the Nissan there at all. There was a huge weird looking hiccup on the screen it's bringing us down to 60 for some reason 50 sorry and i'm not sure why it's broke us down to 50 okay now it's speeding back up again this car in front may merge straight across us here so we've got to keep an eye out for that no okay that car's not bothering doing that and if we stay in this left lane yes there we do there we go it did it correctly so last time we were in that lane there, and if you remember, it tried to take us over that way to South Wales. But this time it successfully picked this lane. And it's gonna do all of this. Now this is a really tough bit for Navigate and Autopilot to do, I've gotta say. It is a tough, tough area. But you can see it's doing it very nicely. We've not had any weird braking so far. We have got Auto Steer Limited coming up, but I didn't feel anything that made me think it was limited. And now we're gonna be merging on again to another very busy road here. The car's not asking for me to confirm lane changes. This is strange. Again, it's just pushing over by itself. You can see that it wasn't sure about that. But again, it didn't ask us to do any lane changes or anything like that. It just pushed over by itself. So it is asking us now to go into the fast lane to stay at 60. And there we go. So that was kind of successful. Again, it's just when it's trying to join a motorway, it almost is like it has no idea that it's trying to join a motorway. And you could clearly see that the road is getting thinner and thinner as it goes. Okay, there's no one around us. This is perfect. Come on, Tesla. You've got it this time. Look at that. That was way better. So now we're in this lane. And I think that's it. Oh no, of course, actually, no, it's this bit. Okay, still no one around us. Here we go, what's it gonna do? It's kind of following the Range Rover. It has cut across there. I wouldn't like it to do that normally because that did just kind of cut across uh, the lines. As you saw, like we came into this lane where we really should have stayed in the first one, but not a huge issue, I guess. And we've come off actually successfully. So that is definitely an improvement. Well done, Tesla. Like, you can't bash it when you see such a clear improvement uh, as something like that. So we're gonna go straight over now, and we're going to try our final on-ramp onto the motorway. Now, these have been really, really hit and miss, so I'm hoping this time we get an absolute smasher and we don't smash into anything. We, we just do it very, very successfully. So let's let Autopilot pick up. When's it want to pick up? There we go. Oh, no. There we go. 
And again, there's no one behind us, which is good. That's really good for us. Obviously, it gives us that bit of extra space. And all these cars I've just overtaken are going to be very confused. All right, there's no one there. I'm just going to wait for the car to tell me what to do. Confirm lane change. I've confirmed the lane change. And yeah, oh my gosh, jeepers. That was not nice at all. And I feel that that van over there may have swung for me because that seemed like it was going into his lane. Wow, Tesla, no, I'm sorry. That is not safe and that is not ready. If like, for example, when my partner goes out and drives, like she always asks, oh, what, like, can I use this? Can I use that? No, don't use navigate on autopilot when coming onto an off-ramp. I did everything it said there, but honestly, for me, I felt like I was gonna fly into him. I felt like I was going across. I knew the car was gonna stay in that lane, um, which was fine, but the car beside me didn't know, and I'm pretty sure he had to swerve because of me then as well, which really, you never want to happen. I don't think that's ever happened like me naturally driving. I've never merged and made someone have to move themselves. So it's asking me to get into this lane here. So I'm gonna get over and get into this lane. Like that. So that was semi successful, I guess. That was fine, didn't do anything wrong. I'm gonna bump that to the speed limit. And then we're gonna go across again. It's asking us to do another lane change. So we've moved over into this lane now. And as I do that, for some reason, everybody speeds up on the left lane. So I'm going to get myself back over. Oh, sometimes as well, it wants to pull over and it will do the lane change. And sometimes like that, it just refuses to do the lane change. So yeah, definitely needs a little bit of work. So yeah, not perfect, but be better. It was better, but again, that's, that's not good enough.